All right, guys, this one's going to be kind of strange. Um, either you're going to think this is totally cool or really stupid. <laughs> it could go either way here. Um, but I'm kind of a strange character, and I like kind of novelty stuff like this. And uh, I was actually looking at my Spydercos not too long ago, and I was thinking, you know what? You know, all these Spydercos, they have the cutout hole, you know, for the uh, opening mechanism, and um, it's kind of the trademark thing. And then I was thinking, you know, what, what do they do with all the holes, <laughs> you know, that they cut out? Uh, and it got me thinking, and I actually contacted them, and they sent me a nice letter in the mail. Um, it was actually uh, Peter uh, Peter Jones. I, it's J-H-O-N-E-S, so uh, I don't know how to pronounce that, but he's part of the research and development team over in uh, over at Spiderco. And he sent me this nice letter. It says, Greetings from Golden, for Golden, Colorado. And he wrote, uh, Enclosed are a few trademark holes off the, of the laser. I hope you enjoy them. Let me know if you can find something creative to do with them. I thought that was pretty cool. So I actually have some spider coal holes. Here they are. Let me, uh, let me put this here and I'll get them out of the bag show you. And these are from all different, uh, all different spider coal knives. Just a very strange kind of a novelty thing, but I, I think they're pretty cool. And I count them. There's 39 here. And these are all from all different knives, all different models. You have ones that are really small, like this, that are probably from their fixed blades, even though they're not used as an opening mechanism. It is their trademark, the hole, so they do, uh, if you look at all their fixed blades, they always have a hole in them anyway. Uh, then there's big old ones that were probably used for uh, actual knives, depending on the model. Different thicknesses here. Uh, let me give you a comparison. Well, that one's the same. Let's see. This one's a little skinnier. And it's just, it's cool. I mean, I couldn't tell you what kind of steels these are. These are all the uh, the blade steels in the raw. Some, most are probably VG-10 since I used it so much, but some could be S30V, you know, it could be something something different. I just thought that was kind of strange and, and cool and kind of novelty. Um, and as a matter of fact, if you have a Spyderco in your hands right now, um, there is a chance, although it be very small, there is a chance that uh, I actually have part of your knife which I think is kind of uh, odd and, uh, I don't know, kind of cool in its own way. Uh, let me actually grab my Jewel's Loop real quick because I want to bring you in close on this and just show you how they cut these out. As it says, uh, as John mentioned in the letter, uh, they are laser cut. So let me grab this as a good good example. If I come in close on this, you can see it is uh, the raw material. They're not cleaned up yet. Um, get this to focus. There we go. And the laser goes in. Okay, so the laser goes in towards the edge, then it comes out, and then creates the circle all the way around. And when the laser first goes in, you can see you have a splatter here on the underside of where all that metal kind of, um, you know, comes out the bottom. And it's, it's super heated, so it just kind of reforms on the bottom there. It's a little splatter mark. I, just, I don't know why. I, just, I thought these were just the coolest thing. And, uh, again, like I said, either you're, you're thinking to yourself, oh, my God, this guy's an idiot. What does he want those for? Or you're thinking, dude, that's awesome. I wish I had some spider holes. Well, uh, I don't want you guys to uh, bombard Spiderco with their requests. But over time, uh, if you ask, maybe they'll send you some. Um, I don't know. I just thought that was really cool. Uh, maybe I'll do something creative with them, like uh, John suggests. Maybe I'll make... Uh, some kind of art project with them, and then, uh, I don't know, that'd be kind of cool. And maybe send it back to them even, you know, maybe they put it on display or something. Uh, but, I don't know, strange thing. Where's the spider holes go? Well, some went to me. <laughs> Most of them get tossed in the garbage. Uh, I was actually thinking they probably recycle them, which could be true. I don't really know for sure. Uh, however, they would have to keep a specific batch together, obviously, because it's the same steel. And they don't have to be melted down and reformed. Uh, to be honest, they make so much money, and they go through so many knives, and it's such a small amount of material. If I had to guess, they'd probably just chuck them, you know, and then just buy new raw sheets of metal. Um, but, you know, I don't know for 100%. You know, I don't know, uh, I don't really know for sure. Um, but anyway, I have a couple of them, which is cool. Uh, these are from a recent, uh, recent batch, so if you have an older Spyderco, chances are this probably didn't come from your knife. But if you soon, if you get a, a, a Spyderco knife in the future, I may have... You know, a portion of your knife. Um, anyway, totally odd thing. Very strange. It's out there a little bit, but I don't know. I'm a strange guy, so I was uh, kind of excited when I saw this. <laughs> I got it in the mail. So thanks, John, if you're watching from Spyderco. 
And uh, thank you all for watching this very strange video. <laughs> Take care.